So since we covered updates for IIS 7, I also wanted to cover updates for SQL 2008 since a lot of that format changed, especially for, for named instances. You can see for the named instance, I have the service type there followed by the fully qualified domain name and port along with the instance name. For the default instance, it looks much the same. That should look familiar to you. The new SPN format does not require a port number, so just keep that in mind. But something that I definitely wanted to point out here was how SQL Server 2008 can help you with your service principal names and making sure those are, are all set. Um, when SQL Server 2008 starts up, uh, the account that it's running as tries to set its own SPNs. So it will go to Active Directory and try and set those that it knows it needs. So it needs to have rights to do so. If it fails to do so, it doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily cause problems, but you will definitely have a better time if it has those those rights. So what you can do to, to make that happen is to actually go to the SQL Service account and go to the properties. Make sure that you go to the security tab and advanced and look for the properties of self so what it's allowed to do to itself. And if we go down to the actual properties for the service principal name you can see that it, the read and write service principal name if you want it to actually be able to update itself uh, it needs those rights. Now getting those rights will be probably a lot easier in most environments uh, than getting yourself the ability to, to, to do that. And it's also not a broad enough set of rights that the SQL service account can now go out to other service accounts and set their SPNs. What this is saying is when this service stops starts up, I want SQL Server to check what SPNs it needs and go ahead and sets those themselves. Then when that service starts to shut down, it actually removes those SPNs. So it's an extremely beneficial thing that, that can happen uh, to allow the environment to, to better manage itself. And I think this will cut down on some problems.